Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today guys moving the 89 rated flashback SBC Christian Fuchs. This card, at least in my opinion, looks absolutely fantastic. I know I say that a lot of my videos, but um, he genuinely does. He looks amazing. Uh, green stats all across the board, apart from his attack positioning and his finishing. Uh, he cost me what, like 25, 30k or something. I had a lot of stuff in my club to be able to complete him. Uh, his SPC is coming in at around 175,000 coins. There's about five days to do his SPC as well, so we didn't actually go into a player's SPC. It's been like a few days now since we've had a new player's SPC, but uh, even so, I was very, very excited to complete this card in the three games. I did learn he didn't score me any goals, but he got me one assist, and he also does have uh, three-star skill moves as well as a two-star weak foot. Uh, getting into him stats, his main uh, standard stats will be his 98 crossing, his 93 reactions, as well as his 99 strength, and finally his uh, 92 ball control, and he does also have the engine chem stat applied to this Christian Fuchs card. There are no traits to him. Oh, no, there are, there are actually. Sorry, the giant throwing trait, which I've never seen before, which is uh, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I, I did the SBC analysis for this video a little bit earlier on tonight, and, and a few people were, were critical of, of his stamina, and... I see where you're coming from, and I agree with you to an extent. Let me explain. When you're using this card because of his medium, medium work rate, it's... I personally think if you're going to use him as left back, despite him being good on the attack, he had like a really, really uh, good effort where he like ran the whole pitch. He had like a uh, you know, a shot on goal, which was saved pretty well by the goalkeeper. He had an assist as well. He is good when going up the field on the ball and stuff like that. But the problem is when you do that, his stamina does struggle a lot then with the medium, medium work rate where he often like um, will go far up the pitch and then sometimes struggle to backtrack. Now, that can be fixed very, very easy. I noticed it in the first game, he would sometimes push, um, just automatically would push too far up the pitch and then it sometimes get caught out in the defense area so what you do to basically fix that is you put on the instructions stay back while attacking um and that you know that that, that fixes the car very well he still he stays in his left back position you can still obviously manually move him up the pitch where he's still going to be very very effective for you but that is something that is probably my most critical part to this card is that yes his stamina becomes an issue if you don't put the stay back while attacking uh, instruction on him. But if you do, it's fine. I didn't have any problem after that once I, I applied the instruction to him. I was only able to play the three games with him because uh, EA have actually just now all of a sudden disabled match creation. So I'm not waiting any longer. Like, I can't be bothered waiting any longer. Um, you know, EA are just trying to stop me from making videos, uh, basically, at the moment, uh, by, by, by the looks of things. But, um, but let's get into his pros. I mean, his first one will be his tackling. Superb. Fantastic all-round defensive stats. Uh, 91 interceptions, 91 uh, stand tackle, 90 stand tackle. Fantastic. No need to really increase those stats. Um, 86 defensive one is 86 heading as well. is very, very nice. Obviously, being at the height of 6 foot 2 and, you know, uh, having 86 heading accuracy, that's something that most fullbacks typically don't have. Only the high tier fullbacks have. Um, so it's very nice that he's able to get that. So he can win headers like in the air. Um, I don't recall him actually doing that in any of the games. But he will be able to because he's got the 99 jumping as well. So actually in the air, he's going to be very, very effective at being able to win headers. Um, I was just never given an opportunity to actually do so because like the ball never came in the air to him, if that kind of makes sense. But no, his tackling on the ground is superb. Very, very solid uh, left back. I you know, didn't have any complaints there whatsoever. And also his passing is probably my favorite part of this card. He is fantastic in both long passing, um, some of his through balls that he played on the left-hand side, his short passing in general, and how he links up with the midfield in particular is very, very nice. Um, 98 crossing, which does go to 99 with that engine chem style. Uh, his free kick accuracy as well goes up to 99. His long passing goes from 88 to 98, and his uh, short passing goes from 92 up to uh, 97. And even his vision actually goes into the low 80s. So I... I would say quite comfortably the engine cam style is the best cam style to go for this card because what it also does is it gets that agility and his balance up as well his agility and balance aren't they're not like horrendous for a left back but they're not like top tier stats again for a left back and this stage of FIFA, you know, cards like Roberto Carlos, I think uh, Alexandru as well, are much more better. Like, their SBCs and, like, their icon cards are much better in, like, agility and balance-wise. He doesn't feel that clunky, though. And I think it was because by applying that engine chem style, it takes his agility up to 79. And it takes his balance up to 82 as well. And obviously, he's got other amazing, you know, uh, dual balance. That's, like, his ball control goes up to 97. His reactions go up to 98 and stuff like that as well, which is perfect. But, yeah, getting back to his passing, he got me one assist in the three games, which is nice. And just in general, linked up really, really well. He can provide some nice, good, long passes as well to kind of switch 
switch the player around at the same time, which was nice. He feels very, very quick, especially with that engine chem style as well, because that gets his pace up basically into the low 90s, which is also fantastic. Um, so for me, there's no major issues to this card, in my personal opinion. Also, I want to quickly mention the strength. I don't think it's quite as good as 99, at least in my opinion. I don't think it's bad. I think it's still very good, but I, I don't think it's like 99 strength like you know someone like a Marcel Desai personally for example I feel feels a lot stronger than than, than this Christian Fuchs card that's not to say that, that that Fuchs is weak it's just I don't believe he feels like he's got 99 strength at least from my experience of using him in those few games but on the whole a very very good card I think obviously um make sure when you do the SPC though that yes you apply an instruction to have him stay back while attacking and that's going to be happy days for you guys you got a really really solid top tier left back and uh, I honestly think he's worth the coins I'm very very glad to do this SPC so some people don't think he's maybe that great. I personally think he's a fantastic left back, and I'm very glad I did this SPC. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.